hello guys welcome to my channel i hope you are doing well so in this video i am going to demonstrate to you how to install a newly released windows server that is windows server 2022 i am on evaluation center page of microsoft i will share the link in the description here you can see windows server 2022 evaluation version it is for 180 days so we can try or check the new features so you can experience this new windows server with these four options first one is try windows server on azure so you can directly uh, use the windows server new windows server on azure or you can create a windows server as a vm and then you can rdp to it and uh, I'll uh, check the features and this is the old type like download the ISO in earlier we have only this option download the ISO and uh, install the server but again um, we have one more thing that is uh, VHD virtual hard disk so you can directly download the virtual hard disk and uh, import it in your any virtualization software like uh, VMware workstation or uh, virtual box and then uh, you can uh, directly log into the Windows server but in my case i'm going to download the iso so click on download the iso and click continue fill the information on this page and click on continue again so it will download the iso so i have already downloaded the iso i'm not going to do it right now so let's go to the virtual box and uh, see how we can install what windows server 2022 click on new and then uh, the name of the server that is windows 2022 whatever you can write so now choose the version that is 2019 because this version of virtual box doesn't have that 2022 option in the version section because uh, it's a old one okay and uh, 2022 is just released let's go to the next page and select the memory so you can give it 2 gb is uh, minimum but you can uh, give it more if you have i am going to give it 4 gb click on next and uh, create a new virtual hard disk so keep it default and here as well and here this is the two option dynamically allocated and fixed size in this scenario dynamically allocated is good because it is not going to consume all your disk space whatever is assigned and fix is going to consume all the space whatever you have assigned in the next page so here it's a 50 gb that is enough for 2022 server and that's it so it's a virtual machine is created but the server is not installed yet to install the server go to storage and attach the iso that you have downloaded here this is the iso click on ok and then start the server okay so it's started it will boot from the iso and give it option to install the server and it is very easy you know just hit click next 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 and uh, if you are already installed uh, other version of uh, windows then you are already familiar with it so there is no rocket science okay so this is the window here you have to select the language time and keyboard but everything should be default and click on install now so this version might have bugs because it is in still an evaluation period so the recommendation is try it on virtual box or any virtualization software like hyper-v don't try to directly test it on the production.
and here you have four options standard data center evaluation and each has uh, the desktop experience as well so standard evaluation is a core server and if you select the desktop experience you will get a GUI for this and I'm going to choose desktop experience click next for a server like a Hyper-V server if you are installing on then uh, you can only choose four but for testing purpose I'm going to choose that GUI so these are you have to just select the default and click on next installation is started now it will take about 10 to 12 minutes depending upon your hard disk uh, means disk type so if it is a hard disk that uh, it is going to take little more and if it is a SSD drive then it will take less time so I am going to pause my video and will back once installation is complete So installation is complete now and it took me about 10 minutes you can click on restart now and system will boot and this time it is going to boot from the disk instead of ISO so please do not press any key over here otherwise it is going to reboot from ISO once again now it is booting from the disk and it will prompt for the administrator password so wait for a few minutes it is going to setting up the system again it depends upon your disk type so if you have a hard disk then keep patience it will come up in four to five minutes so actually it reported the system once again and now it will prompt for the administrator password this is the password page here you have to provide password keep a complex password because it is going to throw an error if you are giving any simple password or uh, if the complexity is not matched let's log in to the new server so it is first time login so it is again going to take a minute at least to set up your desktop so here we are presented with the windows server 2022 desktop and it looks similar to 2019 server and uh, if we right click on the start menu you will see the same options that we get in 2019 the GUI is not that much different but the main features on 2022 is focused on security so let's go to the features page of 2022 server what's new in this so here you can see on the security purpose it has secured core server simplified security by using OEM for secured core server and then advanced protection we have hardware root of trust like TPM model 2.0 and then firmware protection virtualization based security we can provide security at hypervisor level secure connectivity the data is going to flow over HTTPS and TLS 1.3 and that is enabled by default so we don't have to enable it in our system and DNS is also encrypted and the transportation or the data is going to flow over HTTPS that is secure and SMB message block so encryption for SMB as well and the Azure hybrid capability is like using Azure Arc service of Azure you can manage all the on-premises and cloud servers at on a single place so this is very good for administrator and uh, it is by default enabled in Windows Server 2022 and Windows Admin Center that is also a cool feature this thing is 
really useful for testing purpose like nested virtualization for md processor earlier it was not enabled means you cannot uh, install a hypervisor on a hypervisor means like if you have a windows 10 enabled with hyper v and then you install a virtual machine on it then on the virtual machine so you cannot enable the feature on in that server right but in this 2022 you can do that so for each and every features if you want to learn you can go to this page i will share the link in the description so this is how you are going to install windows server 2022 it's pretty simple and uh, just uh, i have demonstrated because you know if you are new to the windows you can understand how we install any operating system so this is how after 2003 servers this is the same way we used to install windows okay but there are other options that you can go for like download the vhd itself so you don't have to wait more to install and configure the system you have to simply import the virtual machine so that's it for this video thanks for watching have a good day